Hello, my name is Dr. Zimberman and I have been doing two parts on a video about maps and texturing and this video is in fact the third part but as it is rather basic knowledge and more aimed at beginners I've made it a separate entry. Okay, let's talk a bit about in-world texturing because for large surfaces such as floors and walls um, we might want to choose for direct in-world texturing and use of repeats because my platform here in fact this is this texture that I've just been repeating all over this platform if you take a look at the setting it looks like this it's 24 at 24 which we can see here the horizontal scale 24 the vertical scale 24 24 times in that direction and 24 times in that direction I have repeated the same texture this texture and every instance is as sharp as the original so this is something very interesting to use when, we, when it comes to large, large surfaces this texture is a seamless texture which means that the left and the right sides match as do the top and the bottom sides if you look at the texture now, it is displayed one time on the whole prim, um, and the crosshair is nicely round. Now, seamless means if I have another instance of this texture laying next to it, you don't see a seam. Here is another example of a seamless texture with bricks. You have no seam. The transition is perfect. Even vertically, there are no seams. There are two main features when it comes to in-world texturing. Here at the building window, I can enable or disable stretch textures. And here at mapping, I can choose between default and planar. Let's take a look at stretch textures enabled. If I'm going to resize my prim, the texture is stretching along, which is not very convenient in this case because I get a complete mismatch. So let's disable stretch textures and resize now and we can see the ratio stays perfectly the same however we get a line a seam here because this uh, disabling stretch textures will center the texture that's why we have here this uh, offset mismatch but I'm going to explain how to fix this in a minute but first let's take a look at this uh, prim over here with this texture if we want to resize this one we want to keep the borders so stretch textures here is the better choice I'm going to resize and accept that this gets a little bit thicker but the texture stays nicely on the prim if I would stretch textures disable it on this one and resize I get this another problem with uh, stretch textures Disabled is when you control Z, well, it doesn't take this along and you keep on getting the same result. So let me show this on this one. When I control Z here, you have a mismatch. Second feature, planar mapping. So we're going to change our mapping here from default to planar. And this is going to change our texture ratio. So we have to set this back to something more convenient like this now when stretch textures isn't enabled there's not much of a difference between planar and default mapping the check the texture is going to be adjusted when resizing the prim and same behavior we get a seam here um, however with Control z it does take it along so we don't get this uh, mismatch now let's enable stretch textures, resize our prim. So we have a mismatch now, but we can fix this with planar mapping. First I click this one, then the one where I go to, and here I can set align planar faces. And this will match the ratio again. We still have a seam, but this is something very handy. Say I, don't I have a build and I don't like uh, the ratio of my texture, I can change this on one prim, select all my other prims, 
and then set them to what I like better. Um, so this can be very handy. However, it is bugged on certain mesh parts and sometimes you get weird results. It isn't always that reliable. So now let's take a look on how to fix these offset issues and uh, manually adjust texture ratios. I'm going to work now in default mapping with stretch textures enabled. So let's stretch our prim. And we, the first thing we have is this um, ratio that has to be uh, adjusted. Um, so I can do this by adjusting here the horizontal scale. I have increased the size of my prim, so I'm going to increase the scale here. And I just can eyeball this until I have a nice circle again, like this. Um, so the ratio is a match. To have the offset uh, matching, I have to bring this line over here. Now I can do this by changing the horizontal offset. I can change the position of the line. But in this case, we have set here for horizontal scale 2.1. It might be more interesting to have two because this because it's a whole number it stretches the texture over the whole prim two times and an horizontal offset of 0 0.5 makes this perfectly matching um, for even numbers it has to be 0 0.5 for uneven numbers it uh, will be zero so say I'm going to make this a little bit longer and have three times my texture. Then I have to set the horizontal offset to zero and everything is matching again. Um, so this is already very interesting. Say um, I'm somewhere in between. If I can put it at um, say 2.5, then the horizontal offset will be at 0 0.25. And this can be minus or plus. I have plus 0 0.25 aligns here. I want to align the other side. I will have to take minus 0 0.25. And this one here is now aligned with a half setting. However, here I will have half of a texture, which on its own can be can be um, matched. Um, let me push align them. Say this one is a, another size like that. Um, and I'm going to set this one at two and here at zero. And now these, these are matching again. So as long as you are working with um, whole or half numbers for horizontal scale um, it's pretty easy to to keep things matching if that isn't possible and you have the the edge of the prim cutting the the texture somewhere um, well in the case of this brick texture it will be quite forgiving so let me show you this on another example so here i have um, resized my prim and adjusted the horizontal scale it's at 1.7 now and the texture is cut over here. So say I have to place another prim next to this one. Then we can see, uh, well, we have an issue here. So um, how to adjust this? The most easy way is to use the UV mapper. So let me take a copy of these prims and apply the UV mapper. And now we can see here we take the zimb and then this means the b over that is over here has to be brought there and i'm going just going to adjust the horizontal offset and well this looks quite good it's an offset of 0 0.7 if i bring this one to 0 0.7 you can see we have a, a good match here so adjusting horizontal scale and offset is not that much of a problem. And for vertical, well, the offset approach is exactly the same. But when it comes to scale, well, there's a big difference because when we are um, resizing horizontally in length here, well, the texture gets stretched a bit or a bit squashed. 
but um, you can get away with it because well it it stays it stays it stays a match but when the prim would be resized in height then this um, vertical difference we get here um, well you can't get away with it you will have to uh, make a perfect match to 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 have this work again so just in case you ever need it i want to show how to tackle this um, again we're going to use the uv mapper so let me take a copy and apply the mapper then i'm going to use another prim to serve as a root so i can have my uh manipulator where my camera is I'll just link this one to it okay so i can move it here where i'm looking at it so the texture here is too large so i will have to increase the vertical scale so let's try it 1.1 1.2 it's still too large but i think 1.3 will be too far yes 1.3 it's too small so let's stay at 1.2 five then we're going to align it here of course here it looks pretty okay but when we go look up we see the result over many squares and we see it's a little bit too small so one i have to lower it um 1.247 so when it's too large, you have to increase the ratio. If it's too small, you have to lower the ratio. Again, adjusting it down here, taking a look up. Well, now it's too large, but not much. No, this is pretty, this is okay. Um, so then we just have to um, align the thing back so we can do the offset. As we can see here, we have to lower this line. This will be increasing the offset here. Uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.11, 0 0.13. Then I'm too low. Um, 1, 2, um, 1, 2, 5. will be too low so I have to lower it for yes yes this looks okay like this and then I just have to take uh, what I found here bring it over to the my original prim and you can see this is a, a perfect match one little trick, say we are in a situation like this where the vertical scale is at 0 0.2 and this prim would be a bit higher, then uh, we don't have enough squares to work with. What you can do then is temporarily uh, multiply the scale by 10. So the one here would become 10 and the 0 0.2, 2. And then we, we have enough uh, squares to, to do our adjustments. If it would clip like this, then you can zoom in by the tele zoom, which is control zero which allows you to zoom in and you can set this back by a uh, control nine. And then um, when you have done your adjustments, just uh, divide everything by 10 again and you're all set and done. Thank you for watching. Have fun building and see you in second life.